Okay, these are the bellows working. That blue ball on the side is one of the weights off his fly press because he doesn't have the original weights that go with it. But so they've all been had a good drink of uh, linseed oil and a good drink of neat's foot oil in the leather. And uh, do you want to to to, to show that to um, do that thing you did earlier with the show me how much air comes out of the he blasted with me with air that stunk like linseed oil. Oh, I think we're going to have a demonstration. We're going to blow the bit of wood across the floor. <laughs> there we are, there it goes. Not bad, eh? Now, we had a friend visit the other day. And as usual, he has an opinion about everything. He's an old boy. And he said, what do you want a pair of those for when you've got a perfectly good electric fan? Because the answer, because I can, didn't really cut any ice. But when Gordon explained to him that a fan runs continuously, and these only work when you want them to work, so therefore your forge isn't constantly eating coke at today's prices, I think uh, it's a slightly different viewpoint. So they're not using electricity and they won't be eating coal like the hungry beast that the fan is. So now the, all that remains now is to connect them to the forge, which uh, I think could also do with a lick of paint. But That's going to be changed for stone and block or stone and brick one this year. Stone and brick one this year. He's going to build a new one apparently. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be next, next winter's project, yeah? This winter's project. Okay. Oh well, watch this space. <laughs> so that's the finished all spruced up. I suppose I should go around the other side and show the other side, shouldn't I? Oh, sorry about the awful <coughs> moving around filming. There you go, that's the back. Oh, here we go. We're going to pump them up again. I can't help thinking of the story of when we first moved into the caravan here, you know with the noise these are making. That will go over the heads of anybody who hasn't heard the story. <laughs> they are lovely, aren't they? And unlike the shape that people think of with traditional bellows shape, they're not the thing that people might, might like to stick on top of their porch or out on their front lawn because they're more of a kind of functional beast, aren't they? They work, right. still. they work very well. That's all the original leather and wood and metal and everything. And what was it you said about when you came to undo that that bolt? Oh, I just undid it with spanner. And yeah. None of the bolts was with over a hundred years old, and the bolt just undid with a the spanner. There's no tight fits or anything like that or strain into the blue bolts. Yeah, they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Proper steel in this. Yeah. Right, bye bye bellows.